It's so special to walk into a room and see all of these shades singing strong with passion and connection. When I hear about opera, I usually imagine European music sung in German, French, or Italian. But a few months ago, I met an artist adapting an all-black North American opera written in 1911. It sounded so revolutionary and I wanted to find out more. Trimonisha is being premiered in a few years, but is currently in its workshop phase here in Toronto. And we're going to get to meet the writers and see some of the performers in action. Trimonisha was written by Scott Joplin, who is a great ragtime composer. So Trimonisha is essentially about a black American woman um, bringing two groups, two disparate groups of African Americans together. And he wrote it in the early 1900s. It was published in 1911. And it is really the first all African American opera. It's, a, it's a, the first of its kind. And it essentially was lost. He died penniless. He never saw it come to fruition. And so it kind of languished for years and years. The importance of this opera is talking about a black woman leading the community and bringing the community together to be strong and fortified. In the original, Trimonisha doesn't really have a lot to sing. They're all sung by men and they're all sung to her or about her. So this one, I really wanted it to be more Trimonisha more women and making women the central focus. Yeah. yeah. We have uh, singers that are crossing over between opera and gospel. We have some R&B singers that sing in a sort of R&B style. We have some Broadway uh, singers. We're trying to tell the full story and the, the, the many faces and worlds that black people live in. I think the original message is knowledge is power, um, literacy is power, but also knowledge of self and knowledge of tradition. Um, and all of these things together are, are power and make you an effective leader um, and make you, you know, able to bring people together. Um, and I think that is continued in our, in our new version. You know, there's always this issue sometimes people saying like, oh, a sort of the first black this, or, you know, the, you know we're kind of always talk, celebrating firsts when, you know, we can actually say, I, a hundred years ago this was starting to happen and really there just needs to be more investment and in, 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 in investigation in what exists and how to bring it to life and to be able to envision it at the scale that it deserves and that's what we're trying to do here. For me personally this show is super important and relevant. It feels special, it feels rare and also it feels like the beginning and that sort of uh, this power behind Trimonisha's story is that now the people have chosen uh, a new way, a new way forward. Yeah.